Well, hi guys! My name is Daniel and we're talking films today. Today is about High Rise from director Ben Whitley with Tom Hiddleston, Jeremy Irons and Sienna Miller. He had not yet decided. I'm so sorry. I'll survive. I thought you were empty. I just moved in. You're an ex. So the film takes place in a futuristic and apocalyptic 70s-like scenario and it shows the life of residents of a tower block. At the beginning, it's very impressive because they can actually find basically anything in this place. But as the film goes on, everything starts getting out of control. Just like the movie. And it becomes a mess, just like the movie. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I guess this tower represents modern society. We get to know Dr. Robert Lang, uh, interpreted by Tom Hiddleston, who was attracted to live in this high-rise created by the character of Jeremy Irons, Anthony Royal, which is basically an isolated community uh, from the rest of the society. The screenplay is actually based in a 1975 novel with the same name. And at the beginning, I was so curious and excited to see this film from the trailer. You can see that it's just beautifully shot. You can see friends that are just amazing and they let you know that this project has a lot of quality. And when you see it, it's actually true. The mise-en-scene is really meticulous and well done. So as I was saying, the first part is actually very interesting because we're introduced to this play that is really complex and so unique as well as the people living in it. The actors, I think they did an absolutely amazing job. They have these characters that are so bizarre but they end up living together in this high rise. However, the problem is that we don't get to know them. We don't know what's going on on their minds. We don't know why they made the decisions they do as they go. And that's not the only problem in this film. I think the script is very messy. It never actually gives you like a cohesive development. Maybe it was too much for me, but I think it never comes together. So basically the film for me, it turned into boredom. You just got the impression of watching like good photography, but these frames are not connected to one another. Character wise, you don't get inspired by them. You don't get angry at them. You're not happy with them. You just don't know them. They're plain and unknown. Maybe if you read the book, I guess you may have another perspective on the subject, but for me it just kept getting worse. People from my theater were leaving actually. And I, at one moment I thought I had to well, so at the end I stayed, but I kind of regret it. For me, it was really too much information, too much mess and uh, no coherence. So basically the script is a mess. The actors did a good job, even though you don't get to know these characters. And it's a film that is really well shot. It's very captivating. And I think that's the biggest plus. So I would recommend this film to people who enjoy visual over stories or this kind of fiction that will take you to a whole new world. That's all I have to say today for High Rise. Just let me know if you have seen it. What do you think about it? Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to put some thumbs up if you like it and share it. And also I invite you to subscribe to this channel. You guys take care. Thank you so much. See you next time. Have a great week. Bye. Okay guys, thank you, thank you very much to watching this fucking video, okay?